Watinda tina, watinda banga sogufa, safa sapendu. Among the wonders on offer this winter is a new stage production of the musical Sarafina by one of South Africa's most successful theatrical talents. Hi, this is Mbongen Ngema, creator, producer of Sarafina. Please welcome to my home. When I grew up, all I wanted to be is to be a musician. I was influenced greatly by the Beatles. I always wanted to be on stage performing for people. But my mother wanted me to be a lawyer and my father. And they did not know that performance can actually be a career. So they just thought that playing a guitar was just fun. I mean, the way we started, I mean, we, we were starving. There were no salaries in the industry. You were not guaranteed a salary, but we just carried on working. We did not work in order to be famous, but we worked for the love of it. A lot of plays today are there for only three weeks and they're gone and you never, you, for, you forget about them. Works like Waza Albert, Asina Mali, Sizwe Banzi is dead, the island, Sarafina, they will live forever because the content they're in is so strong and it's so pure. The moment that led Mbongeni to write this defiant, triumphant smash hit was a bleak one. Well, the concept of Sarafina started, well, I was sitting with Mama Winnie Mandela. I started thinking, this country is in flames. So I asked her a question, I said, Mama, what do you think is finally going to happen to this country? Mama Winnie turned and looked at me and she said, and I'm quoting her, I wish I have a big blanket to cover the faces of the little ones so they do not see the bitter end. And as I was driving home, I began to see visions, young people wearing school uniform, running and singing. And the song that came to my head as I was driving at that time was Freedom is Coming Tomorrow. So when I began to audition uh, young people uh, to be a part of this play, I didn't have the name at that time. Then I traveled to London to meet my friend, Hugh Masikela. I told Hugh about my concept of this young girl who's a student leader. He played me some of the songs that had been rejected by his record company. And one of those songs he played me was a song called Sarafina. Wouldn't it be nice to call this girl Sarafina? So the day that I heard oh, I'm going to play the role of Sarafina, I was shocked. Never me being Sarafina. <laughs> I was excited. I won't lie. I went home and then I just looked myself in the mirror and asked myself, Witsi, are you really going to do this? Are you sure Witsi, you're going to play this role? And then there was this particular voice in my head that said, yeah, this is it. Constantly bring new talent is like pop and flace to me. It's something that I do all the time and it's something that keeps me going. I love young people. I love working with young people. When I see talent, I just get, I just get excited. I want to bring up the talent. I want to polish it. I want to shine it. And when I see the talent shining, I feel like I've achieved my goal. Honored to be cast in the role of Mistress It's a Pity, Sindiswe Pumalo gave us a picture of how tough competition was. Well, when I went for the auditions for Isarafina, it was scary but also exciting. Konaya Begunzima, and it was full of people, like so many people were there, almost thousands of people who were there. As well as landing the part of Teaspoon, Obile and Lapa is one of the many cast members thriving as they learn from the show's creator. Hey, working with Tuba Bungema is such a very nice experience for me. And Tuba Bungema is very strict, very determined at all times, very disciplined, very focused. 
there's a lot of entertainment, people are going to cry, people are going to be uh, happy, the storyline is there, so it's a expected fun. While Mbongeni went on to produce the soundtrack for the movie with legend Quincy Jones and won a Grammy for the film, he still got occasional flack from those who inspired him. Uh, normally when you do previews in the theatre, you invite friends and they come and critique you. So you take notes of what people are saying. And this particular night, there was a group of women who were comrades uh, from different townships, from Alexander Township and Soweto. Mama Albertina Sisulu was there and Mama Winnie Mandela was there. So after the show, I asked the audience, what do you think about the show? And these women from Alexandra Township, these comrades, you know, they were criticizing me about using a girl to perform Mandela. They said, how dare do you use a woman to perform Nelson Mandela? Are you belittling Nelson Mandela that much that you think he is a woman? And I said, I answered back, I said, in my opinion, no one has seen Mandela in our generation. So I think that Nelson Mandela is a spirit, and that spirit could be in any person. It could be in a woman, could be in a man, could be in a child. And this time around, I decided to make the character who plays Mandela a woman. Then Mama Albertina Sisulu raised her hand, and she said, Mongeni is right. Nelson Mandela is in all of us. Sarafina is now running at the Playhouse Company Opera Theatre in Durban. Do not miss it. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.